Though the subject of emptiness, or shunyata, is relatively well established in English language texts on Buddhism, it is usually presented only as the emptiness of lacking independent existence, or, more literally, the emptiness of an own nature, or svabhava. However, the general reader of English literature on Buddhism may not be aware that such an understanding of emptiness reflects a particular interpretation of it, advanced predominantly by the Sakya, Kadam, and Geluk orders which has exercised a particularly strong influence on the dissemination of Buddhist studies and philosophy in the West. In Tibetan discourse, this position is referred to as Rintong or Rintong, which means that everything including the omniscience of a Buddha, is taken to be empty of an own nature. It is this lack of independent, locally determined building blocks of the world that allows in Matyamaka the Buddhist axiom of dependent origination. In other words, Rental emptiness is the a priori condition for a universe full of open, dynamic systems. The union of dependent origination and emptiness, the inseparability of appearance and emptiness, sets the ground for philosophical models of interrelatedness that are increasingly used in attempts to accommodate astonishing observations being made in the natural sciences, such as wave-particle duality or quantum entanglement. Now we know that the concept of emptiness is beyond random or lack of independent nature. But do you know that Rentongpas and Shentongpas have fought for thousands of years, sometimes using real swords and knives, with heads rolling and blood shedding? Why do they fight so fiercely? What's at stake? Please watch the next episode, Why do Rentongpas and Shentongpas fight? For more information on what Jonan Dharma says about the ultimate reality, please visit our website at jonandharma.org. And if you like our video, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell.